Good morning, children. Today we are going to the new chapter, quadrilateral. Okay. So what is called quadrilateral? Today we are going to the new chapter, quadrilateral. Okay. What is called a quadrilateral? Already you learned in the previous classes. What is called a quadrilateral, children? It is a closed figure formed by four line segments. Quadrilateral is a closed figure formed by four line segments. Okay. So, what is the definition of quadrilateral? <coughs> it is a closed figure. Formed by four line segments. It is a closed figure formed by four line segments. Okay. So, here how many sides are there? One, two, three, four. Four line segments formed. It is a quadrilateral. Okay, children. A. B, C, D. It is a closed figure formed by four line segments. So, how many sides for a quadrilateral children? Four sides. What are those sides? A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. These are the four sides of a quadrilateral. And next, vertices. Vertices means what? Corners. Okay. So, vertices. How many vertices are there? Here also four vertices. What are those vertices? A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. These are the four vertices. And next, <coughs> angles. What are those angles? Angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D. How many angles? Four. Four angles. What are those? Angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D. And next, if you join the opposite vertices like this, it will form diagonals. What do you call these lines? Diagonals. So, how many diagonals for a correlator? Two diagonals. Two diagonals. What are those? A, C, B, D. A, C and B, D are the two diagonals. Okay, children? Come and write. Take your C, W, put the heading coordinators and write these all. Now we are going to the next topic, different types of quadrilaterals. In a quadrilateral, we are having different types of it. Okay. So different types of quadrilateral. Different types of quadrilateral. So first one is Here, one line here, another line. These two lines are parallel. Okay. These two lines are parallel. You know already parallel means they never join. Okay. So, these two lines are parallel and here it joins. These two lines are not parallel. So, this is called trapezium. Trapezium means what? Only one pair of parallel lines. Uh, is called trapezium. One pair of parallels is called trapezium. A, B, C, D. One pair of par parallel lines is called trapezium. And next, another type. These two lines are parallel. Okay. And these two lines also parallel. 
these two pair these two lines are parallel and these two lines are also parallel so two pairs two pairs of parallel lines are called parallelogram okay it is a trapezium and trapezium means only one pair of parallel line is called trapezium two pair of parallel lines is called parallelogram okay this is trapezium trapezium and this is parallelogram so what is the difference between trapezium and parallelogram trapezium is here only one pair of parallel line and parallelogram is two pair of parallel lines okay next <coughs> here this line and this line of equal and also parallel here also these two lines are parallel and these two lines are equal and what is the difference between parallelogram and rectangle here all angles should be 90 degrees all angle should be 90 degrees but here it's not there okay so that's why it is the difference between parallelogram and rectangle this rectangle is also called as parallelogram okay it is a another type of parallelogram rectangle okay so this opposite sides are equal and all angles must be 90 degrees so that's why it is called as rectangle what do you call this one rectangle and next another type okay here all sides are equal all sides are equal and all angles also 90 degrees all angles also 90 degrees okay what is the difference between uh, rectangle and square here opposite sides are equal here all sides are equal okay all angles should be 90 degrees here also all angles should be 90 degrees so it is a next what do you call this one rhombus rhombus means all edges and sides are equal all edges and sides are equal a b c d all edges and sides are equal this is called a rhombus okay all edges and sides are equal <coughs> then what is the difference between square and rhombus here all angles should be 90 degrees but here no okay so this is the difference between square and rhombus and next another one here these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal this is called a kite a b c d in a kite two edges and sides are equal okay two edges and sides these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal this is called kite what do you call kite did you understand children so first one is trapezium trapezium means what only one pair of parallel lines is called trapezium and next parallelogram parallelogram means two pairs of parallel lines are called parallelogram and next rectangle rectangle has also two pairs of two pairs of parallel lines is called par rectangle and all angles should be 90 degrees and next square here all sides are equal and all angles should be 90 degrees and next rhombus all edges and sides are equal and kite only two edges and sides are equal this is called a kite did you understand the types of quadrilateral and for each type of quadrilateral having two to diagonals opposite vertices if you join we are getting two diagonals okay two diagonals here also two diagonals
so this is all about different types of quadrilaterals any doubts children